You already made your choice. It happened in 2023. Humanity is living at a time when the stakes are high. You planned on being here at this exact point and time to experience all this. You must remember that you are an intentional creator of your life and that there is no coincidence that you are here right now. You planned it. So since you have a purpose in everything that's happening and will be happening in this lifetime, how will you know what your part is? It begins with healing your past. So let's reflect on last year. 2023 was the year of choice. That means you are now either all in or you are in resistance. To size yourself up, look at the people around you. What choice have they made? Are they in or out? Are they ready to take on the challenges with all their heart and soul? Or are they angry and resistant to the effort it will take? Are they hopeful or hopeless? Their choice will be blatantly obvious. So where do you stand? Has the economy or world events dashed your plans? Or do you see a life of service that will make the world a better place despite the headwinds? Again, you have already made your choice. You unwittingly made it last year. If you are not sure what it is yet, this year will make it clear. Under pressure, you will see for yourself where you stand. If you are in, you will make an effort to understand both sides of any issue, even if it doesn't initially align with your current thinking. You will think about it, write about it, and talk about it. Your interest in doing these tasks will broaden your thinking about everything. Your biases will be in check, allowing you to expand so you can learn about how you can make your difference in a world that's in need of repair. If you are out, you will hang on to your biases with all your might, insisting that you are right. There will be comfort in your decision to resist anything that doesn't fit your mindset, but that will be constantly tested as the outer world makes it harder for you to stay put. Like the force of a river that eventually wears down the rock, staying put will wear you down too. So whether you're in or out, you feel the pressure of the world's aches and pains, especially now. Remembering why you are here will bring you to an understanding that will make sense of all this. To harness this, you must track your steps. No one knows what to do, so you won't find your answers out there somewhere. You must write down those wonderings, conflicts, and the outright craziness that's going on all around you. You can't see it when you're in it, so your only chance of making sense of the outrage and confusion will be to document it like you are a journalist. Upon reviewing what you wrote down in your journal, you will see your own flaws first. Only then will you be able to see the reality of the outer world with the greater degree of clarity. This is the journal, my guided, my guided journey. And this is the companion journal to my award-winning true life story guided. And I'm going to read some, what some of the people had to say about their experience in writing things down using this journal. Taking the journey. And this is from Robert in San Antonio, Texas. Having listened to Guided and learning how Linda did it, I felt I could learn to communicate with my spirit guides too. I got my guided journey when it was a work in progress. I joined Linda on her weekly live video events where I received personal help from her while speaking to my spirit guides. Powerful and accurate. This journal has changed my life and will be a legacy to my kids. 
Okay, and here's another one. Suzanne from San Diego, California. I had difficulty starting in part two of my guided journey, starting with my first fear. That's chapter one. In the videos, Linda explains how you can start anywhere in part two that feels comfortable and work back and forth throughout my life. That made all the difference for me. I was able to remember what had been buried and see what had been blocking my life. This journal and the videos are a must for anyone wanting to break through their blocks. Now I'm going to read Lisa's experience using the journal from London. My early life was painful. I thought by blocking the memories, I would just be a survivor. But I was never healed, and I felt like a victim. Working through my guided journey, I was able to face those painful memories and halt their influence in my life. Thank you, Linda dear. I used to journal when I was younger, but got away from it in my adult life. What a mistake, as my life veered off course in several areas. After reading Linda's book, Guided, I had a coaching session with her. It was so accurate, I knew I was talking directly to my guides. I got the journal and attended her live video events on Tuesdays, where I got her personal attention, which I needed. This was life-changing for me. Maria from Phoenix. Working back through my life in part two of my guided journey, I was able to see where I was taught all the wrong things. Those beliefs turned out to be the undoing of my life later with regard to relationships, jobs, and personal accomplishments. Having put in place my new way of tracking guidance from part three, and I'll interject here, part three is the journal writing part. That's where you spend only 15 minutes a day writing in your journal. And now she says, I am making better decisions. My legacy is to get my kids to take this journey so they can live a fulfilling life and they never doubt themselves again like I did. And that's from James in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, you guys, get this journal. This is life-changing. It really is. It's how I learned it uh, as a seven-year-old. From you doing it, I can only tell you that it works. It, it didn't just change my life. It saved my life. So it's not a very big book. And, and actually, I suggest you go to my website. On, you go to the homepage, lindadeer.com, go all the way down to where the books are scrolling and pick, click on this one and go to the download where you can download it off my website. And that way you've got it. You can print as many pages as you want as you move through it, as much as you need it, share it with your kids, whatever. And you always have it so you don't have to keep buying a new journal. And it gives you the liberty of writing on an eight and a half by 11 page versus a bound book that kind of restricts you in terms of the area you have to write in. So get the one on my website and you save money doing it that way too. Okay, so just remember, you have help. You are never alone and always being guided. 